I see I see you the things that I see God do to you is so marvelous. I need that anointing and unction. Say I want that relation. Can you do a mission for me? I say no problem. But you will stay for one year, two years, three years. If God now speak to me. Then I will. Then she left. <laughs> The pastor met me in Maryland. I went to preach like this. And then after message, he ran after me, said, Sir, please don't go. Please, I want you to ordain me as an apostle, sir. Oh my please. God, no. I said, just like that. I said, just like that. <laughs> even if I'm a devil, you don't even know me. You just hijack me on the street to ordain me as an apostle one day. Greatest recklessness. If they were well trained and taught, would they do that? No. And he says the pastor. The pastor. He knows nothing. He's an ignorant man. I told him, brother, I don't ordain people like that. I don't know you, and you don't know me. Stay under teaching. The Bible says, He sent forth His word, and His word healed the dead. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth it shall set, set you free. It is the word that you receive that brings about your freedom. Amen. When you stay, when I tell people, someone will come in and go, Pastor, please pray for me. I need it. I say, come to church. He say, Pastor, I have my church. I say, keep your problem. Oh, yes. oh, that's right. The days of praying on the phone is over. That's right. It's not five minute prayer that brings solution. Oh, the great miracle I have seen is not done on the phone, it's done in service. That's right. They brought all manner of sick foes to him mm -hmm. in the church. Yes, yes. And while he was preaching and teaching, they were all healed. Yes, yes. That's right. As I'm speaking, I'm healing is flowing through your body. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Deliverance is entering through your body. Amen. While we speak on the pulpit for him, power is coming out. Yes. That's why when you tell people come to church, they think you are talking about church denomination. We are not talking, we are talking about where you should be to connect with God. And finally, don't come to church because you want a miracle. Amen. Come to church to receive the word. Yes. Amen. Somebody hear me? Yes. It is the word that sets you free. Right. And ye shall know the truth. And, and the truth. Set you free. No one I'm telling you this morning, many pastors will not tell you like that. Many prophets will not tell you because they want to manipulate you. They want to keep collecting from you. They want to keep telling you what you want to hear. That's right. I'm thinking of heaven. After now. So if I take your money and I didn't tell you the truth, who do I report to at the end of the day? How many of you know what I've told you this morning? Yes. Stand up on your feet. I will continue in the evening service. Evening service, people need this word more. How many of you want an encounter that will change your life for good? Amen. I was preaching on Thursday. A woman just wrote a check of 500 and gave to my pastor. He said, tell him to buy a microphone for himself. Mm. I didn't ask for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just gave. She didn't even want to see me. She wrote and dropped it, and they had to drag. I said, Come on, come, let him pray for you. Yeah. She didn't want, she's not giving because she wants me to pray. Yeah. Ah. One microphone. There's one for 1,000 something. Yeah. 2,000. He said, Please, just buy. So that your hand can be free sometime. <laughs> and that's what I'm trying to, to do. <laughs> I can make an easy day. I didn't have to give up prophecy and tell her, like, see, I see Edmund coming after you. And you see the way they are coming. The you see the way they are coming. I, 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 when you are truly serving God, God will put your desire in the heart of people. Yes, yes, yes. 
Are you listening to me? Oh, yes, it's true. Mm -hmm. Not just tell people to help you. Somebody said to me, Pastor, what are you even paying for here? Let me pay half. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask. God will just put the desire in you. Right. People just step into covenant by themselves. Amen. Amen. Not under manipulation. Mm -hmm. Somebody hearing me? Yes, sir. If you don't know this guy, this America, they will give you fake. Mm -hmm. right. And it's very important. Number one, I said, for you to assess total rest, number one, be God, don't be godless. Mm -hmm. Be Godful. Israel, we are without true God. You need true God to, to have rest. Amen. Number two, you need to be taught. It means don't be without the word. Don't be without what? The word. The word. The right word. When you are godless, Somebody hearing me? Yes. You will be good less. That's mm -hmm. When you are worthless, you will be worthless. Right. 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 Jesus Christ. When you see somebody who is worthful, when he's talking, you say, wow, this person has something. Mm -hmm. You love to hear them speak. Mm -hmm. There are some worthless people. They talk, talk, there's nothing you gain from their talk. Mm -hmm. You can't come to our service and not get something. Mm -hmm. On that, on that 30 minutes, in fact, on that 15 minutes, you have get something. Yes. yes. When I open my, on that 15 minutes, the first 15 minutes, you get something. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes. That is what food. In what food. Don't be a child of God without the word. Don't go a day without the word. That's right. When I'm studying the word, you see my content has changed. Even my wife cannot disturb me. When I'm studying, my content has changed. I get agitated. I don't want to be. When I'm worthful, I don't want to be. Listen to If you are worthless, you are worthless. And they know it. They will knock before they enter when I'm studying. That is how serious the world is. Two hours, I can come early to stay on this floor, lie down, speak in tongue. I'm not asking for blessing for my family. I'm praying, Lord, bless your people. Bless Amen. them. Let there be miracle in the life of your people. Amen. I'm not asking for, Lord, bless me. Give me money. Give me a new car. Hey, give me this. Oh, hey, bless my wife. Let her you give her promotion. I'm not praying for promotion. I know God is bring, going to bless us. You know why? Because we are bothered about Him. That's Amen. right. We don't pray in our home asking for anything in prayer. Anything. And stylishly, my wife discovered that we don't, I don't pray such prayer. And she don't, doesn't bother me. Let's pray for something. We don't pray for anything. For nothing. We ask God for nothing. No day that I need. So, Lord, please, for this family, Lord, give us nothing. No single day. I don't ask God for anything. And God is blessing us. <laughs> Because we are doing his work. Right. It's not so much prayer you are praying that brings oh, resolve. Right. Serve God. Lift up your two hands. Say, Lord. Lord. I receive your word. I receive your word. With gladness. With gladness. With joy. With joy. It will profit me. Profit. In Jesus' name. Jesus. Come on, pray that prayer right now. Give him praise for the one you have received. Give him praise. Give him praise. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Now, careful to take this prophetic word for you. As you step out today into this new week, may this week favor you. Amen. If I hear you say the loudest, amen. Amen. May this week command the blessings of heaven upon your destiny. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. may every closed door against your advancement be opened for you. Amen. If somebody says, Amen, it's louder, it's receiving. I come as a prophet of heaven 
and I decree every dead sickness in your body. You are cured of them right now in the name of Jesus. Amen. Are there handwriting of the devil around your destiny? Are there things that have been spoken against your life that is making, that is attacking the, 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 the success of your story, uh, the story of your success, that is attacking your advancement and your breakthrough right now by this singular this declaration? Every demonic spoken word, bad to send out. Amen. I say bad to send out. In the name of Jesus, Amen. so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Can I hear louder? Amen. Amen. If you have your offering, lift up your offering and then they'll come and tell us the announcement for the week. Lift up your offering quickly. Or you have your tithes, or you have your, your sin, or you have your, your pledges. Pastor Joyce. Please can you give us the material for the program? Then Pastor Joyce will come and join us. Get your offering ready. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody who is blessed this morning, shout the loudest, hallelujah. hallelujah. No, I didn't say say it, I said shout it, hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Are you ready with your offering? Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, some people are still writing their zero, zero, zero. I don't think you can Amen. If you need an envelope, please give them an envelope. You need an envelope? You need an envelope? Somebody need an envelope. Amen. Amen. Oasis of Breakthrough Ministry is an added value church where value is added to your life on a daily basis. Amen. Amen. I do hope you are glad coming today. No, we 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 value added church, raising our people of power, a people of purpose, people of results. This year, people will look at you and admire you. Amen. Because of the miracle of God in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatever is troubling your heart, as you're stepping out of this door, you are stepping out free of them. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, bless the offering and the titles this morning. Command your blessings upon their lives. And let no one go empty-handed. For those who do not have to give, Lord, bless them. The next time they will have to give to you. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And the believer said the loudest, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Quickly, can they go around to collect it? Please, let's take the announcement, Pastor Grace, so that we, we kill the time. Abraham's blessing somehow. Abraham's blessing somehow. I am blessed. Abraham's blessings are mine. They are mine. Abraham's blessings are mine. I am blessed in the morning. I am blessed in the evening. Abraham's blessings are mine. Amen. Amen. Amen.